been a while, but I thought I'd do an updated journal collection blanks. Um, they are different. There's a lot the same, obviously, but there's a few that have been added, and there was one really special one that I forgot to include in the original blank journal video. So I'm going to show you guys that. It's Wednesday, October 26, 2016, about 11.34 in the morning, and uh, I'm going to start showing you the journals. So hope you enjoy. All right, these are in no particular order, but they are near me, so I'm going to grab them. This is a journal that uh, isn't the type that I would usually uh, write in, but I think I'm going to use it as a journal. I do like these kinds of books, it's just I, I don't use them as a, as a rule. But I liked the, uh, the um, theme, and I think it was from one of those um, uh, book, uh, you get a like a box of book related things it's just that coming to Canada it was so expensive as far as the overall fee it wasn't quite worth it like the contents of it were interesting and I, I got a cool flask from them, the only box I ordered but and this came with it and a few other things but overall it just wasn't worth it for me just just because where I am I guess or but I've kept this and I've decided I'm probably going to use it as a journal. So this is the first blank. And like I said, it's not the usual type that I would use. Maybe I won't use it as a blank. I don't know. Speaking of blanks, here's a play paper blanks journal. Like I said, if you watch the other video, you'll recognize some of these. Um, it is lovely. I mean, it, it's nice. It's a very pretty very pretty paper. I like the size of this. Look at that. I like the size of it and I like the way it looks. I, I do like that it's not, not too big. So this is it. This is what it says it is. And this was probably from a, from a bookstore. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. A lot of these I won't remember anymore where they're from. It's been so long. Now, I've gone vegan. I have no idea if some of the journals I have are real leather or not. I think a couple of them are. I'm not going to get rid of them, and I will use them because what's done is done. But I obviously, in the future, when I'm buying journals, I'm not going to buy leather journals. Just because uh, I'm not going to support that. But anyway, I don't think this one... I'm not sure if this one's real or not. But this is pretty cool. The clasp... That's pretty neat, eh? This is a bit like this hard. It's a hard one. It's pretty hefty, pretty sturdy. I think it's neat, though. I do think it's neat. Um, I think it's got good quality paper. Uh, oh, what would I know, right? And this is what it says it is. Made in Italy. I went to Italy, but I don't remember getting this in Italy, so I'm guessing I got this here. If some people gave me some of these as gifts, and I don't remember, I'm really sorry, because I've, I've kept, I've been a slow journaler. I've been, right, right, Vincent? Okay. I've been a slow journaler for a while, so I have no idea why he's looking at me like that. Maybe he wants food. Okay. That's not a journal. So here's what I'm talking about with leather. Um, as you can see, here's a leather, little leather one. I think there's another one. I remember where I got these two. These were in Toronto at a place that I liked buying incense uh, on Queen Street East. So obviously I'm not going to buy these again, but oh my gosh, are they ever gorgeous, aren't they? Um, these are these types, right? Where you've got, do you see what I'm talking about? Right? Do you see that? gorgeous um i'm afraid to use these i mean the paper is like it's, it's cloth it's gorgeous i'm afraid to use them because i feel like beautiful things should go in them or um 
you, I'm sure other people who keep journals have the same thing. Like, it's like, oh, it's too pretty to use. And this one, maybe I thought I'd write poems in it, but I don't, I don't, I don't write poems on paper anymore. I don't write poems at all, but I don't know why, but this would be great for writing little poems in. Look, I, I'm trying to help. It's hard to do with one thing. Here. Um... This one seems really cool, like as if it would be really great for writing poems down. Do you know what I'm saying? Again, it's a uh, beautiful paper and I like that it has this here. I'm writing everything. It's so awkward to do this with one hand. I don't have a tripod anymore for a while now for my, my cell phone, so. Oh, it goes inside. Okay, so just so you know, it goes inside. There we go. These are two very pretty journals that, again, um, I would I would never buy later now from now on. So I think we're getting into a few that are not in the previous video, unless this one was. I think this one might have been. So this one was an Alice in Wonderland theme. I think this uh, had a, a series of, um, so it's like, it's kind of literary. I think inside all the pages are the same, but the outside covers were various books. So it's, 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 it's from this store and I got that in Toronto as well. Sorry about the focusing. So that's that. I think I was, I think I gifted myself with that after getting back from overseas. Um, here's this one as well. I really like this one. I love the travel. I love the size of it. It's not huge. It's not, it's not a big one. Um, like, well, let's compare it to my one I'm writing in now, right? Like, the one I'm writing in now, which I'm to like, I'm a text journal I'm to there right but look at the size right I'm actually more I like writing in the smaller ones better but this is gonna be beautiful I love the uh, it's sorry guys I this what it says it is so 160 pages it shouldn't take too long either isn't it neat though makes you want to go somewhere it's good for that wanderlust. Yeah, it'll, it'll do me well for writing in. I'm looking forward to writing in it. And for writing, I mean, I just, I journal. This one I remember getting at the airport before us going away. Um, we got the Toronto airport. It was before one of our travels. And uh, I have a big love for Toronto. A mad love for Toronto. So... This is just, I haven't even unwrapped it. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. And, uh, yeah. So, I oh, can see my screensaver. It, that doesn't come with the journal. Oh, but let's look at this. Uh, this is pretty cool. Oh, it's made in Canada. I'm looking forward to writing in that one. I would love to write in it while living in Toronto. We'll see what happens in the next year. Okay, so this is another one that's not in the previous video of journaling. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was got at the bookstore across the street. The, um, uh, what's it called? It's an offshoot of Indigo chapters, etc. but it's not called that. It's called something else. Um, but this, I'm sure you guys have seen these in various other bookstores. There's nothing like a dream to create the future. And it's, it's, oh, look at that. That's really nice. The inside paper saying dream. And then you've got your paper, which is great. Because <laughs> you can write on it. Um, this is pretty much a lot like the one I'm writing in now. See the one I'm writing in now? See this one? They're like the same thing, except obviously the size is much different. 
as I said, I do prefer this size over this size, but I am filling this one up. Hopefully I get this one done soon because I can't wait to pick my next journal. And this one does differ in that it has this to help keep it closed. Don't mind me, I'm trying to hurry with some of this. So I keep showing my current journal for size measurement. Another writing journal, writer's journal type theme and I know I got this in Toronto as well when I got the um, one of the other literary one, so it might be in the previous video. I really do like it. I think it's pretty neat. Um, so it's a writer's journal. It's kind of neat, right? Chronicle books. It is through disobedience that progress has been made. Oh, and look. See? It's got them. Although, I just turned this page and this one already wants to fall out. I don't open up these and look, so I don't know. Ah. Other than that, it's great. <laughs> oh, look at that. Virginia Woolf. Could you imagine? That's Kurt. So that, that again, that size is wonderful. Okay, so again, I probably showed this one, but we'll look at it again. Uh, I like Alice in Wonderland, so Adventures in Wonderland. It says it's a dream journal. I'm probably going to use it as a normal journal, even though it's got a lot of this stuff here about dreaming. Um... I think keeping a dream journal is really great, but, and I encourage it as someone who is really fascinated by dreams and nightmares and stuff. And I think it's great to, um, to keep track of them, but I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do this. So what I'm, I'm going to probably use is just like a normal journal. I've had a dream journal in my, in the past and, and like that was called a dream journal and I used it as a normal journal. The only thing is, is this is a loose, look at that, that this one's already loose and I haven't even used the journal and I, I'm only showing you this like, I haven't, it's not like I take this out ever and show it except for maybe the last time I did it. So that's not a very good uh, thingy unless I paste a lot in it. I don't, I doubt I will, but this is a lovely journal anyway. The rest of it's great. I don't think all the journals need to have those. I, I just don't, I don't think it. Again, shown this before. I do have Rick this journal. I've had it since a gazillion years ago. <laughs> 2007. Holy crap. So, <laughs> yeah, I've had this a very long time and I've never done it. I am one of those persons, people, that need something like this to like right to just let go and as you can tell I have not been able to do so so far um, <laughs> 2007 again I've shown this in the previous one uh, it, it's it's a Harry Potter journal I think I got it at like um, for some reason in my mind my memory is going to like a corner store that had not it's, it wasn't a corner store but it was a, like a store like a that also had literary magazines literary magazines and you know normal corner store kind of stuff and they had this and i was like I, and i got it and i was like i just really love the paper i can't seem to show you that the paper quality is really good you know and even though it's got one line to one page i don't know what i'll do i don't i think i'll probably just write on both it's it's just a beautiful quality of journal and I don't I, I'm just really I, I'm still amazed at it you know because it looks like something that may not be like that okay so this may be new I got this last year um NaNoWriMo novel notes are you participating participating in NaNoWriMo this year I like that as a name that I said so this I bought it from the NaNoWriMo site oh look at that lines from the top to the bottom that's fantastic oh and look how much there is look how much like there's so much oh and it looks like it's got a pocket in the back this as well 
this is a good quality. It's good quality. And I, I think it kind of, I think it kind of had to be. I think it wasn't, it wasn't cheap, cheap. So it's got a pocket. I never use those to their potential. And it's got a thing for you to hold your pen. Because if you are writing novel notes in it for your NaNoWriMo novel, um, that, that's pretty handy. I'm going to use it as a journal eventually. I think it's a great one. Again, I, I'm not sure, but it, that could be leather. and uh, That's something that in the future I'll be mindful of. I mean, I went vegan in February, so... You know, you don't think about what goes into everything until you start thinking about it. But I love the emblem that they had that year. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Pen, copy, computer paper. Okay. I feel like there's like some particles of... But that's fine. Isn't it beautiful though, anyway? Beautiful. I hope um, if you've got that one, let me know how it worked for you. If you used it as a journal or if you used it for like writing poems or whatever you used or... Whether you did use it for NaNoWriMo notes, are you going to use it this year? I've shown this one as well. My We're All Mad Here, Alice in Wonderland, World Notebook Limited Edition. So, I like that song. But it only happened once. In case of loss. Again, beautiful. Can't dispute the paper, can't dispute the quality. It's gorgeous. Look at that. I mean, it's it's stunning. It's even got a pocket as well. Um, I, I, I'm going to end up using this eventually. Obviously. I mean, I will use it. I've got so many nice journals to choose from. I've, I've had to, like, stop, obviously buying journals quite a long time ago but I'm just saying I got a lot of great journals to choose from so that'll be something when I pick the next one this one adventure is worthwhile Amelia Earhart this is a Peter Popper press one I know a lot of you guys say the titles of the, the brands I don't always pay attention or know that so, oh, I like that there's quotes. Every now and then there's some quotes. And yeah, when I was younger, a teenager, I kept a quote journal. I got rid of it later because I put my quotes online and then later I deleted my quotes online, which is too bad. It would have been good to have kept a quote journal all this time. So for those of you who are younger or whatever age you are and you're keeping quote journals, keep them, keep keeping them. They, they, they would be wonderful to keep throughout. Yeah, this is a nice one, actually. I've seen people have magnetic enclosures, like, fade on them and get really floppy. But this looks good so far, and if it does, it does, you know. Uh, again, this one was given to me a while ago. And, yeah, um, I definitely would not buy it now. But I do like the size of it. The paper's good. Again, I wouldn't buy it. Um... I'm wondering, this might have been given to me by my husband, I'm not sure. I don't know who gave this to me. I don't, I don't remember. I don't think it's one I would have bought before anyway. So if it was gifted to me by someone and I've just insulted them, I'm sorry. It's a great color though. And I think like my husband actually did take up a journal, but he's not writing it often enough to go through it fast enough. But the rate I am going through my journals, which is very slow and the amount I have, if he ever gets through the one he has, which is huge, um, I, I probably might pass that one on to him. Not because it's ugly or anything, it's just because I, I don't, I don't know. So I like this one, On the Road, Jack Kerouac, although I recommend reading Dharma Bums instead. This is like a good quality cover. Oh look, there. And then it's making it look like, then you got your paper. And your paper is good. This feels like good paper. Um, so, this came out several years ago, 2010. Looks good though. And, um, there you go. So, 
that one will be neat. This one's newer. I don't think this was in the last one, but maybe it was. Travel, still in the package. You can see it's a flop like that world one. And yes, I got really, yeah, I got the last for wanting to go to Paris. This is 2014. This one could have been pretty much brand new when I got it. Probably. I traveled to Italy in 2013. And then we went to Edinburgh last year, Scotland and Ireland. So that was 2015. So yeah, I probably, I don't know. I might have ordered this one online actually. I think it might have been online. This one was either ordered online or from Indigo or bought across the street. Again, same quality, same thing as my current journal. Same size. It's the big size. But look at that beautiful blues, beautiful greens. Uh, the irony of showing you the best things in life aren't things as I show you a bunch of journals beautiful cloud paper like in my current journal that I'm writing in except this one's darker the paper's good no, no complaints about the journal like like I said I'm using this one right now no complaints about it okay nothing no nothing to complain about it's just that it's a bit big for me and it's nice canvas feel this one doesn't have the same this one's different than this one's So, and that, that, right? See that? This one. This one is different. But otherwise it's the same. And they both have this. And it's by Studio O. Okay? Look how beautiful that is. That's freaking beautiful. <laughs> and here's another one I'm pretty sure I showed this one as well but this is the same type so this one's canvas like the one I'm doing now or it feels like you know what I mean like it's got that I think it's awesome life is dry not a destination oh and look at that actually I never really looked inside before like that like I never maybe I did but I didn't pay enough attention look at that and then same paper, 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 deconstructed journal, 192 pages. That's cool. Recyclable printed with fire base stamp. Look at that. It's a little weird having pictures like that, but whatever. So then it's very dreamy though. It's dreamy. So this is a nice one. Um. I've already shown this one. You guys have seen that. Yeah, I can't sleep. They got a whole series of journals. The um, these guys for various things. I've seen it over and over again. I have not used this, and I can't sleep anyway either as well. And then this one is new since my last video. It's from my father who got it at um, it's a paper blanks. He got it at Stratford Festival when he got me um, a copy of Macbeth in a mug. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I think he was going for like the majestic kind of thing. It's it's really big. Like it's super big. Like it's even bigger than the one I'm currently writing in. Like look at it. That's a big journal to me. I don't I don't I don't really write in big journals, but. It is really lovely. It is very lovely. Look at that. I mean, paper blanks is good quality. The paper is... I'll focus on the paper. Come on. You can do it. Maybe you can't. There we are. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Looks like a, a, a beautiful... Um, grain of wood or something but it's 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 lovely paper 
it's gorgeous. It's going to be lovely to write in, but it's going to take a long time for me. Um, and it's got a beautiful pocket. Um, Two hundred forty pages. Holy crap! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, but that that will intimidate me to writing because it's just like huge. It's got it. It's definitely got a feel to it. Like it's. Look at that. It's a beautiful color. It's beautiful. I'm not gonna say it's not beautiful because it is. I still have this. I'm so scared to use this. I was given this by. Um, uh, one of my LJ friends and I remember exactly who it's just it's so beautiful and now I'm afraid if I don't get used in it it will disintegrate but it's beautiful it's beautiful she she was lovely to give this to me and um, I want to use it Our leaves leaves or whatever it's not beautiful isn't that beautiful whoever made that they're a freaking artist Obviously. I mean, it's a beautiful journal. Um, I think I've got just a few left, and they may be repeats, but I'll just show them to you quickly, and then I'm done. I'm done. Totally done. I'm feeling around for like... Oh, and then I'll show you the, the one that I kept forget that I forgot for the last time. Okay, so I think I forgot to show this one. Virginia Woolf. It's a paper blank got the magnetic clasp I love the size it is definitely small these are a bunch of small ones and I love it I love it that the, well here I mean <laughs> right I mean I, I just sometimes really like small um, journals sorry about the like specks of stuff on my Everything gets on the mouse pad. I'm not a big fan of mouse pads. Anyway. So, Virginia Woolf. Uh, who I should definitely read. This year, if not next year. I gotta read now. Um, I didn't read enough books this year. But that's a side note. I like this. It's got a pocket as well. Which, I don't... Okay. That clasp might not last. Oh, hi, Smudge. Smudge, don't go near the fire. Fire burn. Okay, so um, I've got this from the Travel to Ireland, uh, Doors of Dublin, Lion Journal. Um, so this is from last year. It's a little journal. I I love the colorful doors. I got a self a self portrait of me standing in front of, on a street with like doors of Dublin. Some doors, colorful doors. If I get a house, maybe I'm going to get a painted colorful door. So look how cute this is. It's very cute. Um, this is very, not very, but you know, it's very loose, but it's nice. It's a very nice one. I know I probably showed this one for sure. Got this one in Venice and the um, Piazza de Marco. Is that right? Marco, St. Marco, St. Mark Square. Um, San Marco, Piazza, I don't, I don't know how to say anything. You know, my little stores right around, but you can get these all throughout Italy, like wherever you go. Um, it came with a matching pen. It's really pretty. It's very nice. Wait, was there another one? Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, this one's really nice. Yeah, there was one and I wrote in it. I like it. It's not it's not big. It's it's good. It's good. So I'm looking forward to writing in that. And then this one, of course, I think people will recognize it from the indigo chapters, etc. etc. Oh, it's got it's oh it's got a bookmark. It's a bookmark. Ooh. So it says, Oh you pretty thing. <laughs> and um I know I ordered that through the mail way back when. I like the paper. Uh, I got a, no, no pocket, good. <laughs> I just feel so much pressure with the pocket. What will I put in the pocket? Do I have anything important? Look at that gold, gold, gold with the pink. Very girly, very girly of me. So, 
here is the one that I've had for a while and did not show in the original blank journals video. Doctor Who fans will know what this is. It is River Song's journal that she was giving to um, Amy Pond at her wedding. And um, yeah, I think another one I wouldn't mind getting is the journal that Dr. Uh, David Tennant's doctor had when he was in hiding as you know that that one looks very beautiful as well but look at this look at this again I think if this is leather I mean there's no way I would buy it now but I did buy it then it's gorgeous it's so sturdy like it's like I know the ribbon is just because it came with that it won't keep the ribbon but look at the paper look do you want me to open it okay let's open it I won't be able to put the ribbon on back the same way. I'm worried that I'll never get to this in time. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my gosh. That is the paper. Look at it, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I think the corner's gotten a bit damaged from just like sitting. I heard of one that had like some filled in pages, but mine, mine is completely blank. And I think it was from one of the geek websites where you can get cool t-shirts and lots of Doctor Who and various other um, fan uh, sort of stuff. So this one, it wouldn't surprise me if it's completely blank and that's fine by me. It's very lovely though. I, 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 I'm not, I, look at it though. Look at how long do you think? Oh, oh, guys. Where was it? Did you see that? Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do is. Can you imagine how long this would take to film? Something like shop like a family heirloom. Now I can't find it. We we saw it, guys. We saw it. We saw something. And it's like, oh my goodness. Okay, let's try. It's gonna be. Ooh. Oh, that's really interesting. That's the journal right there. Do you see that? Wow, that is pretty cool. I wonder if there are more, if that's the only one. I mean, that's fine if that's the only one. I'm just saying that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I think I've finally shown you my, my updated journal collection. Oh, and this is the Doctor Who one. Look at that, it's official. It is the official one. Yay. I'm pretty sure I, I made sure I was getting the official one when I bought it, but you never know, right? Because I know that a lot of really artistic people, creative types, like on Etsy, you're going to see a lot of people who made um, versions of this or the exact same 
you know, th 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 that would have copied it to not this, but from the show, right? That weren't doing it to set out to copy this rendition, but we're doing it to just make something from the f being fans of the show. So, um, I can't tie a ribbon. That's why I'm a text only journaler <laughs> because I'm not very creative. Uh, uh, in, in, I didn't in arts and home ec I only passed because the teacher didn't want to have to deal with me one more year. So obviously that's not the four way, um, but that's enough. I'll put it on my Doctor Who shelf so that I'll put it above my Doctor Who episodes and Doctor Who postcards and just like keep it there with my River Song sonic screwdriver um so that's my blanks i'd show them all to you in one pretty pile but they will not be pretty um as for uh there was a journal that i had that um that I was not sure that I was not sure about keeping. It was like a beautiful moon moon one, and I I had originally been. I think I was sharing it. I was going to share it with a, like an, an ex partner. I did throw out the journal, the cover, and everything. I let it go. So I did that quite a while ago. I kept the paper though, just because the paper is really good, and I think I tried to write poems on it. But I got rid of it because I was like, that's silly. You know, I'm not going to reuse it. Um, sometimes you just got to learn to, to, you know, you got to let it go. So that's what I did. It just wasn't, its original purpose was, was, was gone. Like, it, it wasn't going to ever, um, and it, and it, it was sort of like, um, it was an attempt to like to try and use it when I did to try and it just you know you know what I mean sometimes you just learn that journals have had their time okay so guys how am I supposed to pick which journal is next like how do I pick which one I want to use uh, to write in and because uh, I'm, I'm not that far from finishing um, my current journal. Um, I guess I, I have a thing for the smaller journals. Um, but how do I, how do I decide? How do I decide? Right? Like, how do you, how do you decide from so many beautiful journals? So I'm on page 170. What do I have there? So, yeah, 170. And if there's 190, 192 pages, I didn't tear any out. So I'm really close to finishing this journal. So it should be this week, this coming, this week, less than, oh my gosh. If I started rambling, I could probably finish, it, finish this journal within a few days. So uh, I don't know which journal to start with. Oh my gosh. These two have to go away. I'm just stuffing them in here. Sorry guys, but I don't really have the um I don't know, maybe I could go with this one. When I was in the hospital for abdominal surgery recently, I was gonna pick this one as my next journal because it's smaller and it's a paper blank. I could get that out of the way. Um like not out of the way, but I could start using something Different, but I'm not sure. I really don't know. I, I think I do want to go with the smaller sizes. I could go with a whole bunch of, of these. Right? Like, see? Like, I could do... I could use these. And just do a whole bunch of these for a while. Um, I could go with the really small ones. I could go with these beautiful ones here. You know? I, I could go with this. Any any suggestions would be great um, because I am writing every day pretty much and uh, finding it very helpful. So, uh, 
if you if you have a suggestion, try, 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 try. She's in a circle. And Vincent is still doing it. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Aren't you pretty? Aren't you pretty boy? This is the autumn. So yeah, back in the book room. Back in the book room because NaNoWriMo is right around the corner and don't need to don't need to be by the AC anymore, which I was in the living room. So um, bookshelves, 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 poetry, also on the land. And mess, like serious mess, guys. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't like the messy clutter. Um, so I gotta work on that. Um, this is like some old notebooks and pens, but these are my writing books. I know they don't seem very respected right there, but oh, here's this is supposed to be a journal, but it's just too, I couldn't use it as a journal. I don't know. I don't know what I'll use this as. I know. I know. I should dream big. So maybe I'll use it as a. Um, I'm not really a list maker or anything. Maybe when I'm making regular vlogs, this could be like a little vlog journal. I know some people are keeping journals for vlogs now and stuff. Anyway, I do want to get to reading this. Um, Burgess Taylor did a whole series of vlogs about going through this and so i'm i'm wanting to read that but i've got so much that i want to read right now and that i'm working on so um and i'm a slow reader right now but uh thanks again for watching and listening and and um I hope that you're you're still journaling. I am. Like I said, I don't really do showy. Oh, this is from my hospital visit recently. Yeah, that's when I got my uterus out. So, just recovering. Well, the 14th was when I did. 16th, I came home. I think the only other thing I put in here is autumn leaf right there. And one right here. Oh, October. I love the month of October. It hasn't been especially great this year because, you know, surgery and stuff, but look at it. Look at the leaves still. That's pretty much the extent of my, um, you know, I, I don't think I really have anything else in here. It's all words, just, just words and ramblings and and, and even if I'm typing every uh, every day oh, when I was in the hospital, I really wanted to stay committed to writing every day. That's supposed to be on anesthesia. Uh, coming off the anesthetic, uh, I I could text because autocorrect, and it, even if it went blurry, but trying to write it with, uh, I tried so hard. <laughs> That's about that though. Um, yeah, um, and this is my first pocket, but it's from a friend who sent me sweets, so that's really neat. So, like I said, I'm a text-only journaler, so if you feel my pain about, like, feeling bad, you want to share, like, videos but of journaling, but you know, you're just like, it's just my handwriting, um, then you get, then you get how difficult it is. For all the artsy people I I think it's awesome maybe I will open up to become more art, artistic and you know I, I'd love to do collages and stuff again but I had a time period in my 20s when I got when I had way too many magazines collected and all that sort of thing and it just I, I go overboard with it and then I oh it just it, it's more clutter and as you can see I, I got to get rid of some I gotta get more organization going. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of of my journaling. If you just watch, if you watch the entire thing, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot. And if you like the video, or you were, um, oh, well now I know this. If you like the video and 
or it kept you company or something, feel free to uh, click like or subscribe or comment. I never, I never asked for that, but it seems everybody does. So why not? So if you feel like it, I'm here. Look at that. Look what's happening. Maybe this glue is not going to hold up on these journals. We'll see. I have battered it around a bit. So we'll have to see. The good thing I'm mostly a text journal person because look how warped that, that already got. Not exactly pretty. The thing that pen text only pen journalers get is like the pen ink on, on the um yeah okay well thanks again um for watching and what journal is this 39 38 this journal 38 ah okay see how long it's taking me to finish this one okay so i'm nearly done it hope you're journaling and it's going well and take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Bye.